Hey there, it's Shannon Magic Myers, and today we'll be looking at how to represent the line segment from P, which is negative 6, 5, negative 3, to the point Q, which is negative 1, negative 3, 8, by a vector valued function. So in this case, P corresponds to T is 0, and Q corresponds to T is 1. So basically, we just want to find some vector, call it V which would be equal to this directed segment, PQ, which is going to be, let's see, negative 1 minus negative 6, comma, negative 3 minus 5, comma, and then 8 minus negative 3, which gives us the vector 5, negative 8, 11, and that's going to give us the direction numbers, so these are the direction numbers for the line segment. Which would just be the direction numbers for the line. and Q. So the line passing through P and Q. So now all we need to do is this. That means that from this information using our using our point P and our direction numbers. So our vector valued function will be we need to find our remember the vector valued function some R at T is in the form F at T times i plus g at t times j plus h at t times k. So our f at t would just be what? Good, the coefficient to t is going to be 5 from our direction numbers. So we'll have 5t and then we, we can use our point p plus negative 6 is minus 6. Our g at t will be negative 8t. And then looking at point P, we would have plus 5. And our h at t will be 11t. And then minus 3. So r at t putting in that information will be f at t was 5t minus 6 so times i g at t make it prettier we'll write it as 5 minus 8t that's times j and then we've got a plus in the middle sorry and then plus h at t is 11t minus 3 and that'll be times k so that is the how you would represent it by a vector valued function. All right. And then let's also look at let's also look at how we would write um, how we would write this as um, a set of parametric equations. So now we'll uh, we'll represent the line segment from P to Q by a set of parametric equations. So um, now, doing that, you just need to take the co your f at t and set it equal to x. So, so we would just get x would equal to f at t 
And so that's going to give us as x is equal to 5t minus 6. y is equal to g at t. So that would be y is equal to 5 minus 8t. And then z is equal to h at t. And so we would get z is equal to 11t minus 3. And putting it together, we'll have x is 5t minus 6, y is 5 minus 8t, and z is 11t minus 3. Okay. And that's it for that problem. So I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And hey, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and tell your friends. Bye. Mm -hmm.